I, I tell people I'm one of the few people in the world who gets to do what they love and gets paid for it. So. Laurie Barnes has worked for decades as a curator to promote Chinese art in West Palm Beach, a southern Florida town where not so many Chinese people live. Well, I tell people this is, you know, the 20th century was the American century. The 19th century was the British century, but the 21st century is going to be the Chinese century. So I think everyone in the world should be interested in Chinese culture because it's China's time. Um, when I was a child, I um, went to my grandparents' house and they lived in, in the Washington, D.C. area. My favorite museum was the Freer Gallery of Art. And there was just something magical about the Chinese art. It really spoke to me. And I thought, you know, if I don't know anything about this, I owe it to myself to learn more about it and help other people appreciate it. And so that's kind of been my life's mission. She started working for Norton Museum of Art in West Palm Beach in 2006 as a curator of Chinese art, hoping to help expand the museum's Chinese collection. The museum has had a Chinese collection for over half a century. Over the years, the collection grew from the initial 125 objects to about 600, ranging from delicately carved jade, paintings, Buddha statue, and a few porcelain pieces. One of Barnes' responsibilities as a curator is to present the permanent collection to visitors in an accessible way. It is not an easy job to do in a city that is traditionally American. They, such as, uh, dragons in China are rise from the sea to bring the spring rain, so they're really important in China. These are really nice examples of 16th century flowers or symbols of royalty. However, Barnes still sees visitors walking past precious objects not knowing the value in them. To make Chinese art more exciting, she also launches special exhibitions and lecture series that highlight the collection. So that's why I do these talks and try to create a context and create a storyline and try to give people an idea of how these were used, who owned them. I mean, connect them with the lives of real people, even though, you know, especially when somebody lived 5,000 years ago. She once ran an exhibition on the impact of tea culture worldwide, since many of her favorite pieces of ceramics are connected with tea. To my mind, all roads lead back to China, and I made the exhibition. I tried to put something in that exhibition to engage a wide spectrum of people and um, there are p still people coming up to the to the uh, entrance desk and saying who did that exhibition it I'll never forget it it was one of the greatest exhibitions I've ever seen so it, I spent three years of my life on it so it was really gratifying to to um, have that kind of public response if she's not in the exhibition hall talking or answering questions, she will be in the office to study more about each object. Her office is a wonderland for anyone interested in art. In just five square meters, she has fitting as many Chinese elements as possible. The books, including one on ceramics that she published, art auction catalogs, and Chinese art and history chronicles, took the rest of the space. Closer U.S.-China cultural exchanges in recent years have made Barnes' research work more exciting. The museum's Chinese collection comes primarily from dealers in the early 20th century without context. Sometimes the curators are not sure whether an object is real or fake. The important archaeological discoveries in China in recent years have been incredibly helpful for Barnes to study the collection. She is now working on an exhibition of broken porcelains from Jindujin, a city in China's Jiangxi province famous for porcelain making. Looking for ways to tackle the challenge, 
that the American public don't know how to appreciate broken pieces. I think with anything, uh, if you can get people to start looking and give them some, some information, create a good story around it, uh, they will. I also think even without that, if you can get people in the galleries, the art is so great. And people will fall in love with it.